Greetings folks, here we have the Discover Cinematic FPV plane from Krakel in Turkey. This is a fully 3D printed plane in the uh, Talon GT style of uh, sort of pusher, action cam in the nose style of plane, mini Talon style of plane. Up until now I've avoided flying 3D printed planes because uh, I thought they, the, the material isn't quite right for printing a whole plane, it's, it's usually too heavy and too brittle, uh, not as good as foam or balsa, but uh, things change, maybe, uh, printers improve, uh, filaments improve, so uh, maybe this one will be okay, uh, we're about to find out. Uh, I'm still not convinced, I'm, I'm still going to have to be very very careful landing the plane I think, because it's still very thin and flexy. At the moment my all-up flying weight is about 1300 grams, so it's reasonably heavy, uh, but it's got a decent wingspan, uh, 1200 millimetres. It does have LEDs on the wingtips and uh, in the tail, but I haven't actually uh, connected them up and you wouldn't see them uh, flying in this sort of bright daylight anyway. Krakel do provide a, a power pack, but uh, they freely admit that it is a, a budget price power pack just to get you flying really, uh, because that's all that is available in Turkey at the moment. Um, so I've, I've actually used the power pack servos, which are just the blue plastic Tower Pro servos, 9 grams. But I put my own motor on, it's a Sunny Sky 2212 uh, 980 kV, I think, with a 9x6 prop for a nice sort of slow spinning um, efficient flight, hopefully. The design work on this plane is just amazing. The, uh, the walls are incredibly thin and the sort of the, the detail lines uh, up and down everywhere are just quite amazing really. I've put some non-skid tape on there, some grip tape on there so that I don't have to grip it so tight and you can see the flexiness there when I'm launching it. It is a bit of a draggy and boxy shape but uh, the design brief is to have uh, an action cam and an FPV cam in the nose I suppose so that kind of sets the, the size of it and the shape of it. Um, build process was quite good, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, there are good little printed tabs to uh, fit all the elements together, all the sections together, uh, just all CA glue. Uh, so I hope my CA glue uh, technique is good enough. Uh, that's the big unknown is uh, whether it's going to hang together when we come in for a landing. Uh, that is going to always going to be the problem with a 3D printed plane, so uh, I'm thinking this will be no different. As we'll see later on when I show you all the bits in the box and a bit, a little bit of the build process, it comes with lots and lots of little uh, supports for ESC, receiver, flight control board, cameras, all that sort of stuff. Um, so it comes with a, a really good selection of spare parts and um, little shells and things like that. So yeah, nicely thought out kit. Uh, and we'll have a bit of a look at the Krakel website uh, after after we successfully or unsuccessfully have this little fly. It's a very windy day, probably at least 15 knots, uh, but I thought that might be good because it means the landing speed will be reasonably slow. Anyway, about time to chuck it and see how it goes. The nose has these little hat, uh, clips here to hold it in place. I do have a current sensor on there so I can check current draw. Uh, what is it, a 3300 4S LiPo? would have really liked to run it on 18650s and uh, with the motor and prop it would do that but it just uh, needed the extra weight to balance it. CG marks under the wing there. Let's check that it's balancing. That's good. Lots of flies around at the moment which is very annoying. Start of spring in Australia. Alright. Time to go. I will put a camera on top later on, uh, but let's just see how we go. Well, we're up and flying. It's pretty lively. Got my 
throws fairly high. Whoa! Big wind, let's get up high. So it's flying fine. I probably need to trim it a bit. There we go, we're flying well now. You can see the wind, it's uh, hardly making any headway. Got it down about half throttle now, that's good. Oops, we came down. Let's go and pick it up. So this will be the first big test. How did it handle the uh, rough landing? A lot of wind and uh, insufficient uh, motor. Oh, nothing has happened at all. There you go. That's a good test. <laughs> that is uh, absolutely fine. Well, that is interesting. No drama. All right, let's go back and reassess and um, try again. So that came down pretty hard but did no damage at all. That is uh, very encouraging. Uh, it is not ideal conditions and I was sort of backing off the throttle a bit so um, I'm happy to admit that's part, partly my fault. Yeah, everything's fine actually. All right. How about we put a camera on it and uh, fly again? Good stuff. Okay, ready to go again. I actually just very clumsily stood on the wingtip and uh, cracked the glue there, but I've just taped that back up again. So there's part of the problem with these things. They are very brittle. Uh, you do have to treat them more like a balsa plane and not, lo not like a foam plane where you can just throw them around. But uh, anyway, let's Let's try another fly. I might tame the throws down a little bit, maybe. Wind is picking up badly, but anyway, let's go. Zero amps. Might be uh, a bit uh, jelly video, maybe. Five amps, try a downwind turn. We're going okay. Remembering to keep the speed up and we should be fine. Oh, that wind is horrible. Anyway, it's handling it okay. But we may be getting jelly video, we'll have to see when we uh, bring it back in. I'm a bit underpowered, I think. Whoa, up and down. But handling it, Quite well. Let's try and bring it in for a landing, a controlled landing this time. Oh, if you can do a controlled landing. And we're down. Oh, that wind is terrible. So I'm not able to uh, land it nice and <laughs> softly in this wind. It's pretty crazy, but uh, oh, there we go. We popped a wing. So what happened then is it's cracked open this join here. Uh, it has, yes, it's actually broken the joiner there, so I'll have to um, create a new one of them. But uh, that's pretty much all it's done. Uh, and look, it is really not ideal flying in this sort of wind because the when you try and land it, the wind slams it down. Uh, but well, that's not too bad for the first <laughs> rough flight. So this is how the kit arrives from Krakel, nicely packaged up and shrink wrapped. This is the Discover printed in PLA and PETG uh, plug and fly. I don't know if they actually supply a plug and fly one on the website yet. This might be one just for review, but anyway, uh, this is how it's all packaged in the box, nice and neat. And there's a nice little touch. This is a paper worksheet you can tape down to your surface so you don't get CA glue everywhere. 
some nice tasty fruity lollies and some gloves to work with as well and a bit of advice about using CA glue which is <laughs> a pretty good touch actually. They also sent me the power pack for the Discover and as I said well when we're out flying it, uh, it it's kind of a uh, just to get you going really it's not the best quality gear uh, and if you have your own servos and ESC and motor you're probably better off using that but uh, this will get you going to start off with. Uh, so the motor is Emax uh, 2212 1400 kV motor. Um, I use my own motor because uh, this just has the, the shaft with the collet. I preferred the 5mm threaded shafts. Cheapest servos available, but they work okay. 30 amp ESC, unnamed. I used my own ESC because it was already soldered up. It comes with a 9x4 slow fly prop, but I used my own prop, which is a little bit better quality. And these show some of the detail of the printed parts. You can see there's very, very fine detail. It's very nicely printed. I don't think my printer would be able to handle this sort of fine detail. Nice little wheel down there as well. Here's the tail end. Uh, I didn't realise until after I'd built mine that the motor mount is meant to slide all the way in and up, up against that surface there. And then you can put a screw in the side there. I just screwed mine in. I just glued mine in flush with the outside so that I could screw the ma the motor on the outside. I kind of like motor sitting outside the body. Uh, it gives it more airflow and uh, easier access to change the motor too. But anyway, uh, if you follow the instructions, uh, you can slide the motor mount right in there and have the motor fully internal. This shows one of the gluing surfaces between the segments. There's these little slots here that you put little tabs into. And here are all the parts laid out, all the fuselage pieces there couple of different hatches, lots and lots of little trays for different components. This little circular tub here is the LED kit. I did actually put the LED kit in but just didn't uh, connect it up. I will do that eventually to show you. Landing wheel there, this is the wing all folded up into different sections. We'll see a little bit of video of how we put it together. We've got these little tabs here that uh, put the CA glue on them pop them all in their little slots and then bring the two surfaces together and here we are bringing the two sections together with their four little tabs and uh, CA glue all around the uh, edges it's well it's bonded together but not really securely bonded I have to say and the nose section same thing there's two parts of the nose section uh, there's room in there for HD FPV up the top and action camera down below so lots and lots of design work has gone into it and also have some flexible CA style hinges that you put into slots in the, the airfoil and the control surface. Just make sure you have nice free movement when you let it go to uh, cure. So we'll go and have a look at the Crackle website, just crackle.com uh, is the blog. Uh, and uh, one of the most important things is there's a YouTube channel which has uh, build videos for all the different pieces. This is the Discover, uh, other stuff that's available, lots of other uh, plain styles available as well. You can either buy the ST STL files and um, here's a free one here. Download them and uh, print the plane yourself or you can buy pre-printed kit. Mine was a pre-printed kit because I didn't think my printer was up to um, printing a whole plane. But... Uh, and they've offered some discount codes too uh, if you buy from this channel. So just have a look in the description and you'll get a 10% discount on STL files and 5% on printed planes, I think. These are the printed kits you can buy and you can see the uh, prices. Well, that's, that's the value of 3D printed planes. You can uh, print them nice and cheaply, even cheaper if you print them yourself. Uh, that's sort of the main benefit, I suppose. And you can have any... Uh, shape and style you want as well. Power packs here, as I said they'll get you started but uh, you can probably come up with better gear yourself if you have some in your spares like I did and uh, yeah lots of nice uh, how-to videos as well. So there we go that's the Krakel Discover uh, first flight, first rough flights uh, with a little bit of breakage uh, just as I expected really. Go to the website check it out uh, if you're going to buy something use my discount codes uh, and yeah, I, I have to say I was reluctant at first because of my previous experience, or not experience, but you know, knowledge of 3D printed planes. Uh, but uh, Jamal was uh, very persistent and uh, very uh, nice to deal with. Uh,
3D printing is never going to replace my foam planes or even balsa planes, I don't think, but it is another alternative. And if you treat them with respect, uh, have a nice landing area with no obstacles and no long grass and stick to reasonable flying conditions, uh, you'll have a good experience, I think. Uh, I'll have to wait a little bit before we get those sorts of conditions. And my site just isn't really conducive to this sort of uh, more delicate plane, I suppose, but very interesting experience. I'm glad I stuck my toe in 3D printed planes and uh, hopefully there'll be more in the future. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.